This project is binoculars and for this you will need to have some very sturdy cardboard tubes. Toilet paper rolls will not be sturdy enough. I pick ones that have wrapping paper on them and unwrap it and roll it and put a rubber band around it so I can use the tube. The tubes I get are white. You can cut those with a scroll saw. They're four inches across and you can get the pattern for this at PamelasPreschool.com. So this is how we prep it. We will have to have ribbon and some markers, some fasteners, and all and any variety of stickers that you would like to have. First of all, you want to make the outside perforated here. So I'm making a dot. It doesn't really matter where I put it. But then I want to put the other one immediately opposite of it, about the same length down. As you can see, this is a sturdy tube. Okay, so I've got one there and one there, directly opposite. And I'm going to put one on this side. Now, most cardboard tubes have a seam running through them, so try and make the hole where the seam is not evident. I'll make another one. I just eyeball this because when you see the finished product, you will know that that's not really critical if it's exactly right. Okay. So now I have an outside hole here, an outside hole here, and an inside hole on this one. But the inside holes do need to match because I'm going to fasten them together. And we, we want this to be at the very same level. So I just poke a hole through here. And you want this to be a good sized one. Stick the fastener through. And open it up. Don't know if you can see that. I'm also going to put a fastener on each of the sides here, but a little bit loose because I'm going to be putting a ribbon around and I don't want it to be too tight. So it's a little bit loose, but I will tighten it later. And the same on the other side. Now, as you can see, this is not going to do. It's too floppy. And so we are going to make sure that they stay together. Make another hole in the bottom here. This will need four fasteners per binocular. And sometimes they're a little bit tricky. Okay, I've got it. It looks nice and stable there and I want to have a loop to go around the child's neck. All of this will be done by you before the child comes to class. And I take, I just do one knot here. The ribbon is approximately 28 inches so that it will go around anyone's neck. I just did one knot and now I will cinch down on that fastener to hold it. And then I have the ends just hang down a little bit like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And don't worry if it gets a little bit twisted because the children don't care. You'll find it's kind of hard to go around that fastener. Okay. Tighten that down and I will squash it in right there. Now I've got the binoculars and they're ready for the children to look at. If you're doing this in conjunction with your night unit, you might want to put stars on it. Or if you're doing it with um, insects, you might want to stick insect stickers on there. I have markers so the children can put their name and draw anything that they would like and stick any kind of stickers that you would like on there. Here's one that's already finished. It says Emily, and she's got a little picture of herself and a rainbow and some grass. And the children can use these for a really long time. They're very sturdy.